Chewing gum dates back to the ancient Greeks who chewed resin from trees. Modern chewing gum was patented in the U.S. in 1869 by, believe it or not, a dentist. In 1928, another American invented bubble gum. Bubble gum comes in gumballs of all colors and sizes. But for blowing bubbles, nothing beats the chewy, gooey pink stuff in the twist wrap. It all starts with the gum base, the stuff that makes gum chewy. Traditionally, the base came from tree resin. Today, it's synthetic, made of plastics and rubbers. They pour the gum base into a mixer, then add color and flavoring. As it begins mixing, they pour in glucose syrup, a sweetener. Because it's liquid, it helps keep the gum base soft. Next, they add dextrose, a powdered sweetener. They blend the ingredients for about 20 minutes. The stirring action builds up heat, which melts everything together. The mixture's ready when it reaches the consistency of bread dough. They transfer it by cart to a machine called the pre-extruder. The machine squeezes the mixture through a narrow opening, like squeezing toothpaste from the tube. This transforms the big bulky wad into thin, manageable strips that can then go through the extruders. The extruders squeeze each strip down to the actual width of a piece of bubble gum. It comes out as one long continuous stream to be cut into bite-sized pieces later on. This extrusion process heats up the gum. If they were to cut and wrap it now, it would stick to the wrapper. So the next stop is a cooling chamber. The gum goes in for 15 minutes at temperatures between 37 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. When the bubble gum comes out, it's cooled down enough for what they call the cut and wrap. One machine does both jobs in a fraction of a second. Watch the action in slow motion. As the continuous stream of gum enters on one end, the machine cuts it into bite-sized pieces, pushes each piece into a wax paper wrapper, then twists both ends of the wrapper closed. the slow motion replay from a different angle. The machine processes 900 pieces of bubble gum per minute. stop packaging. The bubble gum moves onto a scale that automatically weighs out the right amount per tub. They seal the tub with plastic to make it airtight. This keeps the bubble gum fresh. Ever wonder why bubble gum is pink? It's because that's the only color Walter Deemer had on hand when he invented this treat back in 1928. Since then, the color just stuck.